doesn't really matter what program you do this in. I'm just using After Effects because it's awesome. You can do this in um, you can do this in pretty much any program. It's, just, it's a little different steps. Um, After Effects just makes it easy. And here I just have me shooting a gun. Um, it's not a gas blowback air pistol or whatever. It's just regular BB gun. So I'm not going to do any of the slide stuff. I'm just going to show you how to do the muzzle flash and make it look realistic. Um, so what I have is this uh, just a regular muzzle flash picture I got off Google. You can use um, stuff from Action Essentials Video Copilot Pack, but that stuff costs money. But it's a little better because it has it's actually real muzzle flashes. It has smoke. It's actually a video clip, not just a picture. But I'm just going to use that for now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the frame right before the pistol goes up. So. right there. And I'm going to drag this muzzle flash right on top. And it's, as you can see, it's got black around the edges, so what we'll do to fix that is on the transfer mode, go to screen. And that gets rid of the black for you. Just position it, um, scale it up a bit. The muzzle flash you want to be about the same size as the pistol. Maybe a little bit bigger. And we'll rotate that just a tad. So it's angled with the gun properly. Maybe a little bit too much rotate. We'll do two. Alright. Um, so once we got that, we want to uh, bring the in and out points together. So actually just drag it and then drag it for one frame long. Just one frame, that's all you need because that's all a muzzle flash really is. One frame, so we got boom, one frame. See, just like that, easy as pie. Okay, now for the realism part of this. Because um, you need environmental interaction because when you shoot a gun off, it's um, it glows. It's because there's actually fire coming out of the barrel, usually. So what you want to do is you want to come down here to your main comp, your main video clip, and press Control D to duplicate. And then, since you duplicated it, you get this new one. And on the transfer mode, set it to Add. And that makes it really bright, which is nice because we like bright things, don't we? And what you're going to want to do is mask out the areas that would be affected by the light. So probably my hand would be right about here. Hold on. Gotta zoom in. My hand would probably be affected because it's right in front of it. Um, my face would be. It's already kind of glowing because I had a light on me my face would be affected by this light as well as uh, my body here actually because I'm standing broad faced so just do that and then you're gonna want to take where is it an elliptical mask and do one right at the muzzle flash you want it kinda big because it's gonna be cast in shadow and the way I'm moving it is you hold spacebar and you can just drag it around while keeping the shape. So you want to do it like right there. And I don't want to play it, but. Alright, so you do it like right there. So there's your glow, so to speak. Oops, hold on. Right about there. Okay. Um, now, on these masks, I have apparently four masks, and you want to hit F, and that brings up the feathering option, so on all of the main masks on the body, you want to bring the feathering up, so it's not as harsh, that may be a little too much actually, let me zoom in here. Just get it right. I like to do stuff right the first time. All right, bring it up so all your face kind of lights up. And then on this one, 
you got to bring the feathering way up because this is like the, the main piece. So 212, that looks about good. Okay, now that we have that, we need to keyframe it. So um, press T with this layer, with the add layer selected, press T to bring up the opacity and click this little stopwatch to set a keyframe. And make sure you're on the frame right before the muzzle flare goes off because like, right there the muzzle flare and then I'm on the frame right before it. So you're going to set a keyframe and turn the opacity down to zero. And then move forward one frame to where the, uh, the uh, muzzle flare goes off and then set the opacity back to 100 and then move forward two keyframes or not two keyframes, two frames, and set it back down to zero to give it a little bit of time to dissipate. So, with all that, that's what you have. You have, let's do a little RAM preview quick. Hold on, let me bring this. So this is what we have. It's a little short, hold on. You see the muzzle flash go off. If you even want to, you can make it two flames or two frames long. The muzzle flare, because you can't really see it right there, but you can see as I shoot the, you can see the glow. You can see the kind of scene light up, and that's basically how you make a realistic muzzle flash. If you wanted to, you can put um, some smoke effects in there. Um, however, you really want to do it because it's your video, and that's what matters. Um, and you know some sound effects. Um, actually, I'll do that real quick. You know, just put just put a cool sound effect in here, just like a pistol shot. So I think I have one. Hold on. Let me find it. I have a pretty good one actually. I think it's good. You guys might not, but I like it because it's from a it's from a video game replacement sound pack. And it's the USB. I think it sounds pretty cool, but it is um, USB one. Actually, I'm gonna also bring the slide release in. I'm gonna copy Freddy, Freddy W from YouTube a little bit because he's freaking awesome. So I'm gonna bring these in and just for the heck of it, just because this is a tutorial and we're having fun, I'm gonna bring this in right as the muzzle flash goes off, this is the, a little bit too early, there's that, and the USP slide release, just for that little extra oomph, that coolness, we'll bring that in, like a couple frames, and we'll see how that looks and sounds. Nope, oh, that's a little short, so let's Right there, let's try that. I don't like that, so we'll take that out. But uh, there you go, there's the... And then all you really have to do is do it again for the next one. Okay, so um, here's the, the final effect with all the shots and everything and sound. 